Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. We're on our way to 500k subscribers day. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. Raw's 25th anniversary special is just a week away, which is set to be broadcast from two separate locations and expected to feature a whole host of surprises and returns. To gauge how excited the WWE Universe is for the event, WWE.com have put up a poll asking which WWE superstar we're most looking forward to seeing. There's loads of huge, iconic names to choose from. Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker, DX, Ric Flair, and more. Obviously, because of my love for tag team main events, I've selected Teddy Long. I imagine he'll be near the top 1%. Come on, players. More like one-on-one percent with The Undertaker. Far away in front is Brother Love with 43%. In the same sort of democratic process that nearly got a polar research vessel named Boaty McBoatface, it appears fans of Bruce Pritchard's Something to Wrestle With podcast have hijacked the poll to get his former WWE character Brother Love to top it. Pritchard was most recently seen as an authority figure on TNA, but he'll be returning to his longtime employer WWE for Raw's 25th anniversary. And that's not the only TNA talent WWE might be welcoming the return of. In Impact Wrestling's TV tapings over the weekend, two Time World Heavyweight Champion Ethan Carter III was written out of the promotion with the Feast or Fired gimmick, where wrestlers win briefcases containing either title shots or all the best in your future endeavors emails. It's like Money in the Bank deal or no deal roulette. Moose and EC3 open their cases simultaneously. Moose receives a world title shot. EC3 is fired. Further showing he's done with the company, Carter took a final bow at the top of the stage. According to PW Insider, EC3's contract was set to expire in the summer, but TNA granted him an early release. The Wrestling Observer, however, claimed Carter's contract was up before the next set of tapings, so TNA opted to write him off their television now. Carter had previously wrestled in NXT as Derek Bateman between 2010 and 2013 before finding success in TNA as Dixie Carter's nephew. He's expected to go to WWE, possibly even for the impending Royal Rumble. And it also seems four-time TNA World Heavyweight Champion Bobby Lashley has also left the company, where he appeared to say farewell to the crowd after putting over new TNA signee Brian Cage. While a WWE return is possible for Lashley, he didn't leave the company under the best of terms in 2008. Additionally, Chris Adonis, the former Chris Masters in WWE, has also announced his departure from TNA. That's the end of the wrestling news, so if you're not interested in Wrestle Talk centric announcements, I advise you to venture forth, click the eye above my head, and watch other great Wrestle Talk videos. Or you can stay right here and yell at me in the comments for plugging stuff anyway. If you're still watching, I'm going to assume you're part of the elite SWAFT nation, Wrestle Talk's most passionate viewers. First of all, thank you so much for helping us get to 450. 50,000 subscribers, which we passed over the weekend on our way to 500k day! Subscribers! And now Luke and I need the SWAF Nation once more. One of the main things we want to do this year, as so many of you keep requesting it, is to do live streams of the Wrestle Ramble and hopefully even pay-per-view reactions. But in its present state, the internet in our studio can't handle such high-quality feeds. Partly because it still makes that little dial-up noise whenever it connects, and I have to tell my mum to get off the phone whenever we want to use it. 56k modem represent. So we've set up a new goal on our Patreon page that would allow us to upgrade the studio's internet and keep it up month to month. And we want to know what would make you pledge. At the moment, we've got Patreon exclusive podcasts, shout outs on the Wrestle Talk channel, early access to shows, and much more. But we want to know what you want back from supporting Wrestle Talk on Patreon too. And then we'll do our best to make it happen. Happen. So let us know your suggestions in the comments below using the hashtag Patreon and we'll get our statistician to analyze the results. I'm kidding, we haven't got a sexy statistician. That's the next Patreon goal. Or if you like the sound of WrestleTalk's Patreon page offers already, 
Head over there and support Wrestle Talk now by clicking the I above my head or the link in the video description below. What's the full story between Paige reportedly retiring from in-ring WWE competition? Click the screen now for more wrestling videos.